Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. So, this is an options video. Why are we looking at the S&P futures? Well, one of the things I've always found is that the signals on the S&P futures are actually faster and better than the spiders because of the 24-hour nature. So here you've got a 78-minute squeeze, beautiful consolidation, you've got the C wave above zero, we had squeezes. So yesterday in the trading room we bought calls on spiders uh, based on that and now we have a daily, right? And if we look here at the actual SPY, you can see that there's not even a signal. I mean, look at this. This is nothing. There's no, I mean, that's, I mean, is that a signal? I, I don't know. That's nothing, okay? Yet, by utilizing um, the S&P futures like that and then translating that into spider plays, we're able to take a size, you know, a decent, nice trade on it. So for this particular trade, we picked up the spiders um, on that reversal and then sold them today when, you know, we didn't sell them at the highs. We sold it when the momentum was kind of waning um, and it was good for a quick um, $3,000 there just from a, a day trading perspective or overnight trade perspective. And if we look at this, and if we go back here to the S&Ps, we can see it's like, all right, um, as I'm watching this, you know, I didn't sell it here, you know, up at the ties, I sold it when it ran out of momentum, which was down here, which was plenty of, you know, that was plenty, okay? Bulls make money, bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. Uh, that was just kind of a nice little kind of a day trade too. Now, if you look at the NASDAQ futures, uh, kind of the same, the, the NASDAQ futures here were kind of like, they didn't really have much going on here, right? And then if you look at the Qs, uh, they also didn't have much going on. So essentially what I like to do is just wait and see which of those futures actually have the signal and then take that trade in the corresponding ETF. Okay, Netflix had a pretty crazy after hours move. We are hot and heavy in earnings session. This is, so essentially what we've done at this point is had um, what's called and um, expected move, okay, which is fine. That's great. And what we're going to do tomorrow, so we've got, we set up some trades today to take advantage of something that could happen within the expected move or bullish, okay? So we set up, a, you know, the, the spread and the iron fly and et cetera, et cetera. And then tomorrow we've got phase two of this because guess what? If it moves, you know, based if it's one, one and a half or two standard deviations, there are specific plays to do tomorrow, okay, that are going to make the most sense. And, you know, one of the things I keep getting asked this year, I mean, I set up a specific specific account with a little over $150,000 at the beginning of this year. You can see right now the balance is $250,000, all right? So overall P&L year to date, and this is live account. There's my account number. It's April 15th at, you know, uh, 5.57 p.m., 5.56 p.m. Central. And, you know, the question is, is that how, I mean, it's a little, you know, what, 65 plus some odd percent, and we're in April, right? And I would say at least... 35% to 45%, actually, you know what, it's more than that, has been attributed, attributed specifically to earnings plays. Like without earnings plays, my returns would be much lower this year. And you know the, the surprising thing is and a lot of times people ask is like, well, I thought earnings trades were really risky. I thought it was kind of all or nothing. And I thought it was kind of based on luck. And it's the thing about it is that the people who do earnings trades based on tr hoping for a home run lose money. But if you know how to structure earning trades in such a way as to take advantage of the five days, five to six days leading into earnings, day of earnings, and the five to six day, five to six days leading after, you can create a very high probability consistent income from trading options. And if we go over here and we look at this and say, like, you can go to an account statement here. And just look at this and we'll see like, okay, so great. What are the, you know, what are the, uh, where are the profits coming from? Well, some of this has been just trading the NASDAQ. Okay, the NASDAQ futures are kind of my number one choice for some, you know, shorter term directional trades plus hedging. But you can see here that we've got um, some key stocks here. Google, Amazon, Priceline, Netflix. Now that's not one trade, that's a group of trades, but essentially all centered around earnings. Okay, those, a lot of high concentrated profits there versus, um, you know, if you come down to Apple, that's, you know, there were some earnings trades there too, but you know, there's some stocks that actually work really, really well with this. 
All right, so to dive in and kind of, and learn essentially everything you needed to know about profiting from earnings classes, earnings classes, earnings trades, um, we've got superoptions.com forward slash earnings class. And I'm going to go through on Saturday, April 18th, and that'll be from 2 to 6 East Coast time, and go through the strategies that I've been using for pre-earnings, day of earnings, post-earnings, and after hours. There is a high concentration of focused activity during these periods. And while most people kind of hope and pray and try some different things and at the end of earnings season are generally frustrated and are losing money, over years and years and years of doing this and experiencing frustration, I've figured out some ways to do this consistently. Okay, and that's why we're here. And then, so that's the Saturday class. And then if you also want to see what this looks like live, I'm going to do uh, essentially Facebook earnings and a couple of others live. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, uh, live account. And you can follow me. It'll be Wednesday from 2 to 4.30 East Coast time. And then Thursday follow it from 9 to 11. And if we dive in here, uh, essentially, and you guys can read the bullet points, but the idea is that the Saturday class where you can learn all this stuff and then do it on your own the following week and for the rest of your trading life is just $297. And if you'd like to make an additional investment of an additional $200, then for $497, you can do the Saturday class and the live trading. Okay, so that's that's not two separate um, charges. It's just for $497, you get this included. All right? It's going to be an awesome class and one of those that it's the idea is that if you understand how the market works, you can make a living doing this. And earning trades offer one of the most unique, high probability ways to make a consistent income from trading, if and only if you know what you're doing around them. And it took me years and years and years and years of trading to figure out a way to do that, do it consistently. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be talking about. Have a good one, and uh, we'll see you at the next update.